And low key, like, it's like giving body body. Like, what's going on? Caught me as a lifetime diamond. Oh, I was at the Hey guys and welcome back to another weekly vlog or monthly the way i'm set up um, my name is natasha if you're new if you're not new hey guys so um i just finished recording as you can see did a little hair tutorial gave myself a silk press <laughs> but um i have so much loose change around my house right and it's like so weird well i anyway it doesn't matter i have a lot of change like if i i'm about to empty all my purses because i'm so excited but i be having hella hella change and i'll have i have change over there i have change right here i have change in my beauty room change like piles of change so i needed a piggy bank i was like oh my god i need a piggy bank and um look what the heck i found you guys how fitting i'm gonna put this in my beauty room because i feel like it just it just very fitting and it's a lot bigger than i thought too but it's so cute it's a freaking perfume bottle and it's a piggy bank so um yeah i'm really excited about this um because i needed a piggy bank what the heck am i supposed to do with the change hey guys what's up excuse my appearance <laughs> even though i always look like this and i freaking got purple shampoo on this i hope this comes out but anyways i got this package in the mail which i'm really excited to show you guys um because i really like her stuff and I'm actually going to juice tonight as well. So I'll be vlogging a little bit. And I'm going to try to take a picture um, today. Like I'm actually about to record a video. And I'm like, let me try to get a picture in since I'll be like in the city and like whatever. I'm just trying to stay on track, babies. Okay. So let me show you guys what I got. Um, this is not something I talk about much on my channel. Because, you know, I feel like this is kind of... It's not even that it's intimate. It's just very, um, everything is different for everybody. Everybody's body is different. So I don't like to push things on people and it not work or whatever the case is. But I'm going to show you guys what I got. So I don't know if you guys have heard of the brand called, what's it called? Sweet Cookies. Um, she's always on Instagram. She's I think she's Jamaican. And she um, is the cutest girl. And she like makes these products for your cookie okay so she just sells a line of different things she sells like soaps um um like wipes steams scrubs oils all types of stuff like just stuff for down there so i got a few things and i just want to make a disclaimer because i know everybody likes to turn first of all i'm not a doctor and i know everybody loves to turn into a doctor when you start talking about the vaginal area but you have to realize everybody's area is different everybody has their own um you know a little routine going but i do not use all of these at once let's just get that out there i do not use all this at once i don't load my vaginal area with this and also a lot of this is topical i'm not inserting anything or anything like that okay my my girl is good in that department but being a black woman I feel like we do get more hyperpigmentation we're more prone to ingrown so you do have to put a little bit more care into those areas so that's something that I've been not like, really into and seeing like it transform has been great so now that that's out the way um, I did pick up some stuff I got a new um I love her packaging too it's super cute and fun I feel like also like we're becoming more um what's the word i'm looking for we're becoming more open with talking about these things before it was like very sacred like if anybody has like a smell they're like oh my god i don't want to talk about it. they're gonna talk about me like but, but in reality it's natural everybody's you know vagina goes through things um ph balances be out of whack maybe because of a detergent that you use or something it doesn't always have to be something super bad you know what i'm saying I keep looking at this crumb, you guys, and I'm like, what the heck? Okay, so, um, yeah, it doesn't always have to be, you know, super taboo. And even if it is because of, you know, sexual reasons or whatever, it happens. You cannot keep track of your partner, unfortunately, all the time or whatever. So just be very open. Talk to your friends. Ask your doctor. 
don't be afraid to speak up when it comes to those kind of things because this is your body this is your health at the end of the day and it could be as simple as you need to start taking daily probiotics and everything will be you know back to normal it's not always a life or death situation or anything so i love that we're becoming more open with the idea of talking about more intimate things private areas but um it is very helpful for a lot of those out there so i hope i'm able to help somebody and make somebody more comfortable with their body or whatever so anyways um i the first thing i got was this sweet um what is this called this is a sweet cookie oil it smells so good i'm not sure exactly oh it says on there it smells so good it has like this like faint like sweet orangey scent um and it says it can be used to shave which i don't personally shave i get waxed i go to wax you atl um and it can be used to moisturize the vulva so i like to put this on like after the shower and just you know moisturize my girl because it can get a little dry down there i feel like a lot of us neglect that area and you cannot put a lot of things down there so it just ends up getting dry um like i said i get waxed so so i use 10 skin well i was using 10 skin um which will really dry you out and low-key like start peeling you a little bit because it's getting so dry but it's also getting rid of the dead skin blah, blah blah and it will get really dry yeah like not like the not her actually like the outer like that will get dry so you need some kind of oil that's not going to irritate you um down there and this is perfect but um it can go down there and it just has a nice little scent but it's not artificial it's not gonna throw well for me for natasha this is my second bottle this does not throw off my ph okay so we're good so i'm happy i re-upped on that and then i got this because a lot of people are like going crazy about this oh it smells so good it smells so good so this is a full body deodorant and i got watermelon i really wanted peach but peach was not available so i was reading the reviews and a lot of people put it like under their boobs um and it helps you know with like sweat and stuff it's all natural ingredients um a lot of people put it on their butt crack um a lot of people put it um under their arms people who sweat a lot or get really musty this apparently prevents those scents and i can see that and a lot of people said it works in um like really high heat so I'm gonna try this out and see what it's talking about. A lot of people were saying like this made the, you know their special time real special because like it has a, a sweet smell, but it's again not messing up anything down there. So I don't know. I might put it in a little crack, you know, at the top or something. <laughs> I'm so kidding. Well, not really, but like let me stop playing. And then I also got a scrub. This is the Sugar Baby Body Scrub. And honestly, I got this just for that area. Oh, it has a nice faint smell, but it's one of those like harder scrubs. You guys can see like I'm like pressing into it. It's not like, you know what I'm saying? And it's, it's like moisturizing. It definitely has oils in it, so it's not gonna dry you out. I'm trying to stay away from stuff that dry me out because I'm noticing that it's doing the opposite of what I need, to, need it to do. So I'm trying to moisturize my body again i'm not using all these at once you can use all these at once but it's not really necessary all the time just when you're feeling special you know what i'm saying and i'm i've been really into self-care so like for me if it's a sunday and i want to take a bath and then i want to get out and lather up with the oils and the body deodorant and the scrubs that feels good to me that makes me feel good and rejuvenated so then next i got this honey wash which is a wash for down there as well and it's called it has african black soap honey aloe vera and plantain or plantain whatever you call it um i don't use um vaginal washes um i did use honey honey pot and honestly and i say this goes with everything that i'm saying everybody's experience is different honey pie honey pot i was better off using just water and also this will be something that i feel like i would just use around that time of month um just to like be extra clean but i probably would not do this all the time but honey pot literally you guys threw off my ph i feel like i feel like i at the end of the day i will be like excuse me 
And I never experienced that. So I just was like, I'm done with that. That does not work for me. But I do like Honey Pot's other stuff. Like I use their bath bombs. Um, I also use their um, pads, like the, the super big overnight ones with the mint in them. That, that's a banger. But when it comes to the, the wash, I just did not like it. I feel like it threw off my pH and I did not like that. So I just left that alone. I still have a full one in my bathroom which I need to get rid of, but I've also heard plenty of people rave about it. They're a very successful company, brand. So yeah, I don't know. To each his own, let me know your experience with that, but I'm gonna try this one out and see what it's like. And then I got a steam. I'm not sure how to, <laughs> how to use this, but this one is actually called Before He Eats the Cookie. And honestly, you guys, I got this one because the other one I wanted, the other one was like for postpartum, don't have that. And the other one I wanted was sold out at the time, which was like, uh, it was just a regular one. It was just a cleanse. But this to me is, it's all the steam. It's all natural herbs. It's all the cleanse. So I'm not sure how the V steam works. <laughs> Maybe I did get the wrong one. This one says... If your main goal is to turn up the heat in your bedroom by increasing moisture, tightening, and boosting, girl, heightening or oh, you'll have a special night or weekend. Child, this is gonna be collected dust. Okay, I don't know why I got this, but also to show you guys, you know, if you're interested in something like this, you just wanna kind of refresh and re-cleanse, then you can get this. But um, yeah, I just really wanted to do, I guess it says one pack equals 20 V steams. I have been using the 10 skin um, after my waxes like literally it's just a, a regimen a part of my routine I put it on the top and like on the bikini the sides of my bikini area um, when I get out the shower because I'm prone to ingrown so it does help the only thing like I said is it just dries me out like it'd be like low-key peeling which is a good thing because it's lightening my girl but I just feel like it's a bit harsh for the skin in general and it's not doing that great of a job to me for me to keep using it so my wax girl said she had these she was selling these so i got this instead and i've been using this for the past week now because i just got a wax on tuesday what's today saturday so yeah i've been using this since and so far i actually like this a lot better it's more of a serum so it's moisturizing and it's keeping the ingrowns down it's just like making everything softer, smoother. So I'm going to continue using this one instead. If I happen to have like a really like big ingrown for whatever reason, I would definitely pull out this one because this one will definitely dry you out and get rid of anything. But um, yeah, those are some things that I have. I know it seems like a lot. I don't use all that at the same time because my my girl will probably fall off. But um, yeah, I just thought I'd give you all some tea. Let me show y'all what I got. Let me know if you've tried any of these things before. Do you prefer to wax? Do you prefer to shave? I'm gonna get my life together and then I will see you guys later. I might be taking a picture. I might be at Jews. I might, who knows? Who knows? But I'm giving myself two hours to get my life. All right, guys. So I am about to take a picture. What do we think? The body Audi is giving. Hold on. Hello? Um, so I have on this jacket from PLT, this bodysuit from Skims, jeans, Fashion Nova, boot simmy, okay, hold on, hold on, boot simmy, and then my JBW watch, and then I have this bag from, I believe, Shein, I believe. This is the fit, I'm going to take a picture, but then I'm looking like, should I have just went this out when I go out this week, but I just need to get my picture out now. I think it looks good with the really long hair. You guys know I love my brown tones, but like low key, like it's like give it body body. Like what's going on? What's going on? I love that for me. I do plan on doing a video soon about like how I take my pictures, just kind of breaking it down. So like first, like, you know, how I do my makeup, pick an outfit, da, 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 da. then how I take my pictures, how I pick where I'm taking my pictures, all that and then how I edit my pictures in my strategy for posting and stuff. So we'll get on that. Did I say my watch JBW? Yeah. And these little rings. This little chain. Earrings. Hair is popping. New Year. Okay. Happy birthday, girl. Well, you, want, you want us to look down? Okay, I, what I do want to just tell all of you, 
Um, I appreciate all y'all being here. The most important thing for me this year was to be around people who I love, people who I care about, whether they're new friends, old friends. I just want to be around love. It's been a lot going on for me these past. That you plan for the next whole week Bands too long for so cheap and your flex so deep sex so deep God. Hey guys I'm back home Um I was able to vlog a little tiny bit on my phone um, I got a few snippets. I forgot I can vlog on my phone now because I done upgraded honey and I have this huge bonnet on. But um I went out for my friend's birthday and um yeah, it was a good little time. We went to dinner and then we went out after. And I'm back home, showered, lathered. And I'm about to go to bed. And I need to set my alarm because I'm supposed to be going to the gym in the morning. So let's hope I wake up. Regardless, I'm going to the gym tomorrow. But I don't know if it's going to be no 6 a.m. Let me know what you guys are currently watching. I do not watch TV. Like, I'm not a TV watcher. I watch shows. But like I don't know what's like what y'all be watching like I literally have every streaming network because my best friend plugged me in okay she let me log into everything she literally has every streaming network so whatever you watch let me know I am like I'm the girl that will watch the same thing over and over finish the season and restart it and act like it's my first time watching it I don't know how wrong with that but also it'd be nice to like be tuned into something new you know because TV is really background noise for me versus like entertainment so comment down below let me know what you guys like to watch and i'm about to go to sleep but yeah so basically i'm taking this month off i am focusing more on my content which i have been consistent on my other channel if you guys are subscribed there if you're not make sure you guys are subscribed but i've been off and i just kind of needed a mental break as well because i'm always on go so i just needed to kind of like take this time to like get my apartment together finish getting everything together and get my suite decorated before February. So those are my main goals. But this past week, I'm looking at the calendar and now I know why I've been like this, which it doesn't change it, but my period literally starts next week. So Moody Tasha has entered the chat. And it's like crazy because I be trying to figure out, am I moody because my period is just coming? and everything is like amplified for me or do I really be going through stuff like stuff really be happening stuff that I cannot share with you guys like real life stuff and I'm just like okay would I be less phased if my period wasn't happening or because my period's coming I'm literally I literally feel like I'm going to die I don't know so I'm just going through the motions growing pains dealing with things by myself I'm learning these days to just like as an adult not saying that you cannot vent to people and express yourself but i'm learning now to take things um a different route like you need to have that one good friend whether it be your mama whoever to talk to and let's let that be that like just venting to all your friends just does nothing but give you a bunch of unwanted opinions and like i feel like my friends pretty much listen but at the end of the day it's a judge-free zone, but you, people judge, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just learning to just like rationalize things in my head and go through things on my own before venting to people or running to people with my problems, especially if it involves like another person, if I'm dealing something with a friend or a guy or my mom or whoever, whatever it may be, I'm just learning to um, deal with those kind of things internally and then rationalize those things with somebody does that make sense because i feel like a lot of times when something happens we want to hit up all our friends call up the group chat you know what i'm saying and like i just feel like everything doesn't just doesn't need an audience everything doesn't need to be a show everything doesn't need to be a production so yeah i've been just dealing with things kind of on my own and then if i decide to share Whatever I'm going through after the fact, then that is what it is. But overall, any decisions that I make will solely be on me, myself, and I. So, yeah. So, right now, I have been in bed literally since Tuesday. Today is Friday. So, I'm like, you know what, Tasha? You need to get back on track. I actually have a video to film tomorrow, so I have to dye this wig right now. Which I'm 
kind of nervous about. But I knew that I wanted my face to be like. Girl, you got it. So today is another day. As you guys saw yesterday, I took some pictures and also me and my friend went to this place called MF Bar. It's like a, well, I know there's a place in the city called MF Sushi. And apparently MF Bar is a sister to MF Sushi, but MF Sushi is a sister to Umi. It wasn't Umi, but it was definitely delicious. It hit the spot. Um, but yeah, um, today I kind of have a busy day, but I was up till like four or five this morning watching Euphoria. I've never watched it before. Um, so I'm on season one, like I'm thinking I'm on like episode four or five. Um, and I'm just like, is this what y'all was? This is, I don't want to step on any toes, honey. The show is not bad. But like, honestly, the whole like, and I don't judge anybody in their life, you know, I like to have fun and stuff too, but the whole like, I guess it's realistic, but then like, is it? Because like, I didn't do all this in high school. I don't know. But the whole like overuse of drugs with the like kids and like over sexualizing, I'm like, why couldn't these be at least like college kids or like people in their early 20s like it's actually really making me uncomfortable it's a whole different thing i just i that's how i know i'm getting old because i overanalyze everything now like i just be like like i'm watching the show and i'm literally getting anxiety in the middle of the night like i'm like why is he doing that it's so pretty let's see can you guys see that it looks so pretty outside Question, tell me what you think about me. I buy my own diamonds and I buy my own rings. Only ring your celly when I'm feeling lonely. When it's all over, please get up and leave. Question, tell me how you feel about this. Try to control me, boy, you get dismissed. Pay my own car note and I pay my own bills. Always 50 50 in relationships. The shoes on my feet, I love. The clothes I'm wearing, I love. The rock I'm rocking, I Depending on me If I want it You watch I'm wearing I want it The house I live in I want it The car I'm driving I want it all right, guys Just a quick update As I'm washing So let me tell you guys Why it's important For me personally To wash the wigs And everything Before I Even Put them out in the public um, I do have every wig Listed but I can obviously go in and delete it because it's not posted yet. But I'm washing this wig and like, look at this. I would never sell this to anybody. Like I was on the phone with my mom for exactly 25 minutes. I was just, you know, when you're on the phone or doing something, you're just moving. So it's like, you're not paying attention to the time. But I'm like, why the hell is this taking me so long to wash this wig? And like, this is literally going straight in the trash. Like I washed this um, like two times already because I had wore it. And um, it did not do this, but this last time, like today, and I'm gonna go ahead and update the description box too because I just cannot believe I can. But blonde hair is so tricky. I'm gonna bring this. Out. I literally wasted so much shampoo and conditioner on this. Like, oh my god, it's not even worth trying to like boil it and do all that to sell it for that for you to get it and it not perform well. Like that just doesn't make any sense to me. So. 
we're leaving that one alone, buddy. Okay guys, so this might not be your ideal image, but here's my chicken. It is already washed. I personally wash my chicken, rinse it off a few times, put some vinegar in there, rinse it off again, and that is what I do to clean my chicken. So I'm gonna go ahead and season my chicken. I'm gonna use some black pepper. I'm gonna do some Cajun seasoning. And you know, this stuff be hard to like come out. So seems like I'm doing a lot, but I'm really, really not. I'm gonna do some garlic powder. And this is coming out a lot. So I'll go like that. A little bit of seasoned salt. And lastly, some garlic powder. Yeah, this is how it's looking. I'm gonna go ahead and mix it up. Cover the chicken in that. Put it in the bowl and let it sit for like 30 minutes or so. So I'm gonna let that sit in there for about 30 minutes. I'm gonna cover it with some foil and put it in the put it in the fridge. So here are my potatoes. I like the golden potatoes. I just like the taste of them. Just peeled them, cut them, and I cut them into smaller pieces so that they boil faster. And then when you're mashing them, they're easier to mash instead of having a big old chunk. Um, Cause I like my mashed potatoes whipped. Yeah. So I have a little hack for you guys. So I don't know if any of you guys watch um, Stove Top Kisses, I believe that is her name on Instagram. But listen, she said to get this and boil the potatoes in this. And I t I'm telling you guys, it has changed the potato game in my house, okay? I love doing this. I already have my water boiling while I was um, cutting this so that obviously it can start boiling, but I literally put the packet in the pot. I'm gonna show you guys. So the water is boiling and I'm gonna go ahead and put this packet in here. Ooh, sorry about the steam guys. I repeat, this is not a cooking channel. So this is how it should look. And I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a little mix to mix. And I'm telling you guys, it's going to give your potatoes that flavor. And then I'm gonna just drop the potatoes in there without splashing myself. So, potatoes have been added. We're gonna let it boil. And then, yeah. So I'm gonna be cooking more at home and trying new things. I do wanna show you guys too, because if I could do it, you could do it, okay? Um, I'm gonna get one of those like tripods. I think Aaliyah has it uh, linked on her Amazon. Ooh, this, ooh, did y'all hear that? I done broke the chicken. This is the potatoes. I'm gonna go ahead and just pour it in this bowl. And those are like onions from the onion soup mix. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and mash those. I do not have a potato masher, but so use a fork or a potato mash. Do I have, I actually do have one. I'm lying. Nope, no, I don't. I like I don't have one. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna just take some butter. This has a little bit left. So I'm gonna use whatever's left in here and then add some more. And it's already getting like smoother. When you start adding your ingredients, it's just gonna like really mash using some sour cream and just go like this and just whip it if you don't like the taste of like sour cream you can definitely use milk or you can use both I feel like sour cream is more than enough milk in this situation so I'm not gonna use milk personally so I'm gonna add a little bit of black pepper a little bit of salt and a little bit of garlic powder and that's it. Mmm, it tastes so good. I'm feeling a little extra. Just add a little cheese. And it's going to make it very like, I don't know. It just, the cheese just adds a little something. And I like the creamy melt with the Philadelphia in it. I like, or if sometimes I'm eating like a steak or something, or I want like a classier kind of meal, <laughs> I will do Parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese tastes really good too. All right guys, first batch of chicken is done. I'm not gonna lie, I was nervous as hell because oil scares me 
so much. So I'm about to put these last pieces of chicken on there and then yeah, but so far so good. You know what I'm saying? Looks good, looks cooked, looks yummy. Can't wait. Hey guys, so last time I saw you guys, I was washing these wigs. That was just yesterday. Oh my gosh, I was washing these wigs for the wig sale. So I put them right here and I just let them air dry like that and then I just flip them every few hours and they literally dry within like 24 hours. And I just wanna say, Thank you so much for everybody who shopped with me and who always supports me and is excited for my wig sales. Like that's like really a blessing. Like I don't even sell hair for real, for real. I just, you know what I do my thing. Um, but yeah, so I'm just like, let me get these out. Guys, let me tell you guys. So this is probably like a few weeks after we know how I do. But this channel, you guys, has surpass a million views which is crazy because i don't post on this one as often as my other channel i don't i don't want to say i don't care about my other channel anymore but like i just feel like it was like it's really a slap in the face that i really tried that hard i really worked that hard for that channel and it just kind of was like taken away from me in a sense not taken away but like why can't i be monetized you know so um i i I just let it be what it is. So I'm gonna stop rambling, get this over so I can get my butt in the bed and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. So I'm back home as you guys saw I just went to Sephora, but I'm starving because I have not eaten all day So I made myself some nachos just regular nachos not the nachos. I normally make this is ground beef Delicious, okay, but I am going to show you guys what I got from Sephora I got a big old bag y'all I got a big Sephora bag this time and I just placed an order on Sephora last night. So Hopefully that gets here sometime this week and I'll show you guys what I got. But I got some fun stuff. I like never just randomly pick up things, but like I'm excited. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat. I did, I just say that I made nachos. Yeah. So I'm gonna eat. We're gonna see what this is tasting like. I was gonna vlog me cooking, but like we know how to make nachos, right? So I originally went to Sephora because Aaliyah posted a video yesterday of her doing her um, hair, like her wash day routine. And she posted this conditioner and this oil. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna go to Sephora. But I watched the video after I made the purchase online. So I was like, I'm gonna just go to Sephora. So I was able to get the oil, which I never heard of actually. So the first thing I got was this oil. This is literally the first thing I picked up. Um, this is by Fable and Maine. Never heard of it, but she washed, she used it yesterday and it's a pre-wash hair oil. And you put it in your hair five minutes for at least five minutes before washing or overnight because my hair is so dry. And so coarse, I would probably do it overnight. But the thing is, because I wear so many frontals, I feel like my edges are just not at their full potential. So this is gonna help with like hair growth and stronger hair. So she highly recommended it. It's cruelty free, vegan, no silicones, and it's for all hair types. So it looks like this. And then um, hair products. I got this Olaplex Intensive Bond Building Hair Treatment. So apparently you're supposed to um, apply slowly to dry hair you're supposed to apply this to your to dry hair so it's kind of like 
these are your two options, you know, before washing your hair and stuff. Um, and you're just going to spray it, leave it on for 10 minutes, then wash it out with your Olaplex shampoo and conditioner. So also I got the Hum Daily Cleanse Vitamins. It helps clear your skin and body from toxins. I have actually been using these for over a year and I just needed a new um, thing. And I haven't used these in the last like two months because I ran out and I just, it's one of those things I forget to get because it's not like in Target or anything. Like I'm not thinking about vitamins when I'm in Sephora. So um, yeah, I got my monthly supplement. These I really, really like. Honestly, my skin was doing so good when I had this because this is like cleansing your skin from within. Um, so I need to get back on this, especially when like you guys are really asking what I was using on my skin. I was taking these. My skin regimen was the same, but I was really just taking these every day. So I will be popping these tomorrow morning. Y'all hear those dogs? Mm. Mm -mm. So more skin stuff. I got this Tatcha Violet C Radiant Mask. I don't know, Radiance Mask. I don't know what brought me to it but it's a mask with vitamin c i really do not have anything with vitamin c because too much vitamin c really makes my face feel kind of like raw and like it just does too much so i figured if i had a mask and i used it like once a week it would brighten and lighten some of my dark spots and stuff without overdoing it because when i buy skin care products with vitamin c or use vitamin c every day my skin is toe up so maybe i can just like slowly incorporate this um we're gonna see and my skin has just been feeling really dull overall like it's just not radiant so i just want something to brighten my skin you never heard anybody talk about this or use it i just gravitated towards it so let me know if you've tried this and what you think i've honestly never been disappointed by tatcha so i'm excited so next i got another skin fix exfoliator i actually love this stuff um a lot of people said they don't like it but i hope you're using it right you literally have to read the directions on some things sometimes guys you're supposed to use this on dry skin even when i was checking out the lady was like oh i love this stuff she's like make sure you you use this on dry skin. I was like, oh girl, this is like my fifth box of this, okay? Like, I ain't new to this, I'm true to this. But I promise you guys, like, I'm probably gonna use this tonight. When you use this, oh my gosh, your skin just feels so supple and it just feels so good. And then I re-upped on my Fenty um, Butter Drop because I haven't bought it in a while, so I needed another one. Then, I'll just get the rest of this stuff out so that to keep reaching in there so i did get another laneige um lip glowy balm but i got peach i always get berry i literally always get berry but they didn't have any berry and i kind of wanted to try something new um but i needed this because my lips have just been so dry and like i love the huda beauty silk balm which i was gonna get but i've been feeling like it's like it's it's ooh, tongue twister i've been feeling like it's like expired or something because like after a few uses, it starts smelling like old makeup or like an old product. And I just don't like that. And that kind of freaks me out because why is it expiring so soon? So maybe they need to alter the ingredients, um, put some pre preservatives or something in there so they could last a little longer. But um, yeah, it definitely, oh well, it definitely, um, yeah. So next I got another charlotte tilbury foundation but this time i got 14 warm i've been wearing 13 neutral or 13 warm i think it's 13 neutral 13 warm. it's 13 something it's too light okay and like it works and it matches but and i can like finesse it but i just want to use one foundation like i like my mixture that i have going on but i'm ultimately mixing it because of the shade and i'm like if they make a shade baby use it then i got um a fenty gloss bomb heat i actually never tried the heat ones it's supposed to be plumping i'm assuming um but i do love the shade fussy but this is like plumping but this one looks a little bit more less shimmer less shimmery but it looks like can I zoom in? It looks like this. 
And then I picked up some things from Rare Beauty. I actually have never tried anything from Rare Beauty. Not that I don't want to, it just hasn't grasped my attention enough. Like every time I had put it in my cart online, like when it first came out, I just moved it to Love's. Like I was like, mm, not today. I just was like very uninterested. So they came out with this new Warm Wishes Effortless Stick Bronzer. And let me tell you guys, open it from the bottom. This is also in the shade Full of Life, and I'm hoping that this works for me. But y'all, first of all, when I swatch this, yeah, this is gonna be fun. It's so like, talk about effortless. Like, look at how that just glided on my hand. This is gonna literally blend out like a dream. I cannot wait to use this. Hopefully it performs how I'm thinking it is, but I haven't even blended it out, but it just like, and it has like this velvety, like powdery feel. And it's literally a true cream bronzer. It's not a cream bronzer that is contour shade. You know, it's like really a bronzer. So hopefully this warms my face up nicely. They have a shade after that that's darker, but I just felt like that one was like too red and probably a little bit too deep for me. So I left that one. Um, and then I got a matte blush a liquid blush i really wanted the nars liquid blushes but for some reason that sephora did not have any liquid blushes so i was like okay so i got this in the shade grace and i am like obsessed with how bouncy this formula is like look at how juicy that is you guys like that looks so nice and this is a color let me see if you guys can see it up close y'all see that it's so pretty. It's like this nice pink. Lastly, I got perfume and they actually like wrapped it up for me and everything like separately. I'm like, I'm like, what is this lady doing behind the register? She's taking a long time and she was wrapping up the perfumes. Sorry guys, allow. Sorry guys, I was looking for the scent online so I can give you guys the notes. I think I keep saying J Malone. This is Joe Malone. Sorry guys, Joe Malone. So it's by Joe Malone and this is in the shade, in the scent, Scarlet Poppy. And it has notes of, let me go back, Scarlet Poppy, Tonka Bean, Amberette, and that's it. It's a very simple fragrance, love that. Um, and yeah, this is what I got. The bottle's super cute and red. So. I will see you guys tomorrow, all right? All right, guys, so I am about to relax my hair and do like a rinse on it. I'm not dyeing it, I'm doing a rinse because look, there's no, do you see all that gray hair? There is absolutely no way that I'm about to have leave out out like this with all these gray hairs. I'll tell y'all, I'd be stressed. Okay, so I'm actually gonna watch these last two episodes of Euphoria while I do this, because my TV's right here. And um, I'm gonna just show you guys what you need. Well, not what you need. I'm not telling them what to do. But what I use, I use the Mazzani um, Butter Blend Relaxer, and I always use normal. I always have. If I use, is it gonna zoom in or anything? There we go. If I use um, super or strong or whatever the heck, my hair will definitely break off the Normal is better for me, and mind you, I have very um, coarse hair. So I don't know because my hair is coarser, it's a little bit drier, so it breaks more. Um, but you do need to do a scalp protector. So I have this olive oil one, you can use Vaseline. I just use this, I put it all around the perimeter of my hair so I don't burn my skin, and all in between my scalp as well. Okay, so this is my hair and I'm about to go wash it out with my neutralizing shampoo. And then, let me show you guys. This is supposed to be like, you know, repairing. So I'm gonna use that after my neutralizing and then I'll figure out what conditioner. Oh, I just washed my hair. So I'm about to put this rinse in. Um, I think I can condition after, but I'm using these Kiss colors, a brown and a black, and I'm gonna mix them together. Good morning, guys. I am literally so annoyed. Oh my gosh, hold on. Okay, so I perm my hair last night, whatever, right? Um, and I didn't get it super straight because the rest of it burning because I was itching my scalp like all week, so I knew it was gonna happen, but it's straight enough. So I dyed my hair and it's just like black. 
and my, com my camera ended up dying last night, but I know that I did black and the dark brown, but I thought it was just gonna like, because I felt like the dark brown wasn't gonna be dark enough to cover the grays. Now, let me just do a little black. This thing is black. So the problem now is these bundles look fairly dark, but you guys, like you probably can't see it because it's not good lighting, but even in the bathroom, like it's gonna be significantly darker. My hair is, so I have to dye these. So yeah, I'm gonna start with the shortest bundle to make sure that it's saturated, honey, because I don't have the design. Um, but this hair is from JD Hair, I believe, Luxury. I've had this hair for over a year, and Crystal, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry. I just, you know, haven't had time to put in bundles. I also had a closure, but I do not have that. Don't know where that is. I'm not putting in a closure. I'm just doing a regular quick weave, but it's straight hair, and I believe it's, 18, 20, 22. I think it's 22 is the longest. But you guys, look at how like the hair is full from root to bottom. Like it doesn't get all weird and skinny. It's gonna be a nice full install. So I'm super excited. Um, but some of these are light and some of these are dark. That's the thing. So yeah, the longest one is actually darker, but still got that little brown hue. This one is light. You guys can definitely see the difference and I'm not gonna be, y'all not gonna be clocking me, all right? That was the most annoying process ever. This is the next day, by the way. Um, I had to, I need to take this off. But I ended up going out with my mom and <laughs> we didn't get anything done, that's why I didn't vlog. But now we're gonna do this hair because I'm supposed to be going out tomorrow. I'm not 100% sure, but I need to get out this house because this, this mood, this funk that I'm in is literally eating me up. Like, I need to get out the house. So I'm probably gonna go out tomorrow and my hair needs to be done, which I was gonna do my hair anyway, but like now I really have to do my hair. I literally slept all day, <sighs> disgusting. Um, but yeah, so this is how my hair is looking. It's very dark, I don't like that, but whatever. So I'm about to put some oil in it. This is Olaplex bonding oil. I clearly love this stuff. So I forgot this in my other bathroom. This is the It's a 10 um, leave-in product. And I spray this all throughout. I've literally used this once, so relax. Um, I spray this all throughout my hair. You guys, when I tell you, first of all, this smells like the beach. This smells like salt water. I don't know what's really in here. But when I put this on my hair, I've been using this for years, by the way, even before they changed the packaging. It makes my hair so much softer, so much more manageable. I'm gonna take this gel. This is my favorite gel. This is the... um. As I am smoothing gel, it does not make my hair hard or anything like that, and it slicks it back. So I'm gonna do a low um, slick ponytail, and I'm gonna use the clear rubber bands because the clear rubber bands don't break your hair as much as the black ones. See how slick it gets? I love this gel. If you are looking for a gel, this is the one. So my hair is slicked back and I didn't do anything super tight because chow, once, it, once the quick weave is in, it's in. You don't want any problems. So I'm going to be putting a cap on my head and because I don't have any braids, check this out a little bit. Um, I'm going to be using this quick weave protective shield and honestly I only put it like around here because again I don't have braids so I need the cap to stick. So I'm literally, actually I could just put it on here. I'm gonna apply it to this brush and do it 
like so. This step, and try to make sure you don't put your leave out back. Most hairstylists like braid this down and stuff, but guess what, I'm not a hairstylist. But um, you just wanna put this on very gently and just slide it down, slide it down. And at this point, I would honestly go into the dryer, but guess what, I don't have a dryer. So I'm just gonna let this like set and dry by itself for about 30 minutes and do some things around the house. And then I'll take the blow dryer and dry it some more. If you're really in a rush, you can just go ahead and blow dry it. And I'm gonna spray this on my hair. This is the Even Lace Spray. You can use Got To Be Spray for this step, just like a very, very um, high hold, like kind of spray. Okay, so at this point, I'm really dragging this out. So I need to hurry up and cut this. All right, and as you can see, it's on and secure. Now I'm gonna cut this middle. This is what be messing me up. Blend game, strong, and I haven't even like styled it yet. I'm still trying to part it. Sorry, my TV's loud. I'm still trying to part it. It's giving balding right here. I might put a little powder or something. Or maybe I'm just used to a super crisp part, but look, where does my leave out start and finish? Let me know. Please let me know. So I'm gonna go ahead and style it. Um, I haven't straightened it or anything yet. So this is how it's looking. I hope you can't see any tracks in the back. I'm like really praying. But um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it. I haven't added, done anything to my edges because I really don't want it to be too like greasy. So I might do a little super soup. No, I'm going to do a little super soup. But what the heck is this little dip right here? Like that's so weird. I'm gonna figure out it's gonna be real cute and I might do some curls tomorrow, but we shall see. Good morning, guys. Well, <laughs> it's not morning, um, but today it's gonna kind of be the last day of this vlog because I feel like I've just been vlogging, vlogging, vlogging and not cutting it off. So let me tell y'all, I finished my hair last night. It was so cute. It is so cute, but um. I'm going out tonight, but that's gonna be in the next vlog. We're having a girls' night out, and I'm going out tomorrow, so I figured why not just put that in the next vlog? Because why not? But um, let me tell you what I actually ended up doing. So I told you guys about the whole flat iron situation, how I bought two, how I broke my flat iron, so I went and bought one, right? So, so I ended up buying the baby list. Um, I bought this one, which is a one and a half um plate and I, that's the kind that i wanted right and this one was 150. so then i went to target last night to get some detergent and i saw this one this one was 50 percent off which is 20 dollars, and so was this one this one was 20 dollars. so i paid 40 dollars for two instead of that one and i ended up using this last night and my hair was so straight and so silky and i'm not one to return things but i'm taking this back i am taking this back because i do not need three flat irons and I literally have, you know, a regular one, a one inch plate, the bigger plate. This says one and three fourths and this is one and a half, but this one got the job, job done so quick. So if you see these, the Conair rose gold ones, get them, call it a day. I'm taking this back simply because I really am not a fan of this. It was just something that was familiar to me and they did not have the Paul Mitchell in store. So this I'm actually about to take back. I have to run to the store real quick anyways. And then I'm gonna come home and get ready because we are going out. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys my hair and stuff after I do my whole self-care situation. And then we're gonna finish this vlog. Guys, look at the hair. Okay, now that it's done, I might curl it because I don't really do straight hair like that. But I'll see like how everything looks because I already have my outfit picked out. I'll see how everything looks when I, I wish I had done this side different because it's like kind of bulky. But now I know for next time. But anyways, but um, we're gonna see how everything looks once I'm like dressed. I'm probably gonna just keep it straight, but it looks so good like you guys. Where's the leave out? Can you spot the leave out because I ain't gonna spot the leave out <laughs> anywhere. But um, yeah, I'm gonna close this vlog out. And if you wanna see what I'm doing tonight, what I'm wearing, all that, make sure you guys are subscribed and check out my next vlog which god willing will be up right after this or like in the next week i need to get back on track 
I'm trying y'all. It's just hard out here. I, you see, I'd be like, oh, I'm going to start something. And then I don't. I've been in bed. I've been in a funk. It is what it is. It's life. But hopefully in these upcoming weeks, I'm in a better mood. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.